Yeah, so YouTube, welcome back to another video. Thanks for joining me. So, as you can see, we've made a start on getting the branches into this enclosure. Now, this will sort of finish off the sides and we can finish off the foam in and the silicon in and then add an eco earth on top. So, it's taking a little bit longer than I thought, but I think I'm reasonably happy with what's going on. And these are obviously sticking out and they're sticking out to the doors, but I'm going to cut them off or snap them off once they're secured into place. But I've just added some cell tape just to, oh, just to keep them in place for the time being. And I'm going to try a different technique this time. I'm going to try and keep this stood up and try and foam the branches into place without actually lying on his side because I find you can see how the tank's going to look a lot better this way. It might not work, but let's give it a go what we've got to lose. So if that's something you're interested in in today's video, then make sure you stay tuned. Other things coming up in this video around this room, animals, enclosures, but let's get on with this tank. Okay, so I'm reasonably happy with how that works. Yeah, a little bit dripped down a little bit, but it should now firm up and hold the branches in place. So when I now tip around the sides, all the branches will be how I want them. And in the past, I've done lay on his sides. It's really hard to like try and work out how branches and how he's going to look when you stand it up. So I think this is the new way forward. So we're going to leave this now. It takes about 30 minutes just for it to be about tack free and then about four hours just completely dry. Now I want to make sure it's completely dry for you anymore. Now, hopefully then later on today, I will spray foam the rest and make sure there's a leave room for planting and put pots and more cork branches that you can fill with plants and things like that. Now, I think that we've pretty much got enough branches for birth to thermal regulate. You can climb all the way through the enclosure. Now I have cut a piece off earlier, which I'm gonna attach here, just to add a little bit more around here for him, just so we can be comfortable, find the best perching spot, the best place to bask, and get into this UVB. So, I'm happy with how it's looking so far, despite the sellotape and the mess, but hopefully we can get the sides done in the next couple of days. I'm hoping to get this completed by the weekend, and then we can start thinking about Add in a drainage layer, add in the substrate, and then look into plant. I also need to add the Miss King system on here, which we'll do at some point as well. But we're moving forward. So like I mentioned in the last video, I have fallen behind on some maintenance, which you managed to catch up on most of it last week. But I have had a couple of issues with the ADA 45P behind me, and like I mentioned in some of the past videos on this tank, it started to develop a little bit of algae. Now this is partly because I had the lighting period on for too long, so I've reduced that. But over the last couple of days, the CO2 system actually leaked, which is my fault. I hadn't screwed the um, drop checker, sorry, the uh, bubble counter on um, enough, which is leaking CO2. So I've managed to rectify that now. We've set the CO2 system back up, and it's running, but there's still some algae issues we still need to stay on top of. So we're gonna do a little bit of maintenance on this tank now. And I'll rejoin you in a bit. We'll check out Bird's setup, and we'll carry on going on with the video.
Okay, so that might seem a bit harsh, cutting so many of the plants out, but the best way of removing this algae, the way I find anyway, is to get it out of there as much as you can. I've been doing probably three, four water changes on this tank a week since we've been making this build. Obviously, we did leave it go a little bit, which didn't help the issue, but nothing to worry about. But I know it's really disheartening if you set up a new scape, spend a lot of money on plants, the last thing you want to do is start trimming them back. But it will be worth it in the long run. I say that. Let's hope. But we seem to be again on top of it. The snails are still there, but they seem to be getting less and less because I think the um, black tiger diarrhea is eating the babies, so that's great. But I thought I'd give you a quick little update on this tank. A bit of a nightmare, a bit of a long scale project just because of the issues we've had. But we'll persevere and hopefully we'll get to the bottom of it. So we've left the foam dry now and it's completely expanded and it's held the branches in place like I'd hoped and I think that's been a success. So what we need to do now is to build up the walls with expanding foam. I'm going to add some core pieces with holes in and various different materials just to try and give this a nice texture to give it a nice and give plenty of room to add plants and therefore plenty of cover and place to drink a bit. So we'll go ahead and do that now. We need to grab the materials we're going to use and then we'll just carry on. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed today's video and we managed to get a lot further forward on Bert's enclosure. Now we know exactly how it's gonna look. We just need to peel off the foam from the side we've done today and then replicate the process we've done today on the other side. Once you've done that, we're down to the substrate, drainage layer, watering system and the exciting bit, plants and adding Bert into the enclosure. So if you're not yet subscribed to this channel, you don't wanna miss out on any of that, then make sure you hit that subscribe button and that notification bell to miss out on any future videos. As always, if you're a regular viewer, you do me a massive favour and drop me that thumbs up and leave me a comment to show YouTuber enjoying this sort of content and allows me to make more videos like these.
But with there's plenty of builds like this to come, the next project after this one is going to be another terrarium build, pretty much like this one for a new animal and new inhabitants and something new to learn about. So make sure you don't miss out any videos, knock that bell icon and I'll see you in the next video.